Oh, by the way, there's big news. Uh, there is some actually pretty exciting FF14 news today. This is the big one. This one is that uh, very famous and popular and cool streamer C Dog VA is going to be playing FF14 for the first time after raising one million dollars for charity. Oh my God, this is awesome! So due to popular demand, uh, yeah, he is going to be. Now I don't know anything about this streamer, but I guess I will soon find out a whole lot. It's always good to see someone new play through the video game. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. Like, I am a person that I I can absolutely vicariously live through a new player coming through the game. Oh my god, here we go. I love Connor, but that's definitely a game he won't enjoy. He will skip all such most cutscenes and get bored because the early game's too linear. All of the things he likes... Like customization, theory crafting builds is late game. At least it's a bit of publicity for the game. Is this... I mean, I don't know anything about the guy, so I can't say. Like, I don't know. But... What are his intentions for repeated play sessions? Or is this a one and done? Basically another Asmongold type of deal. Oh, okay, so he's gonna play... Um, up until maybe Stormblood and then Quet. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> He's gonna hate how verbose everyone is in the game. He will trigger the entire player base by skipping the cutscenes. Literally the wrong guy. He skips all story related stuff. He's gonna hate this. Oh no! Has he said anything about that? I mean, look. You wouldn't agree to play it if you didn't know what it's about, right? It says Sea Dog VA, aka Connor. He's a Welsh YouTuber and Twitch streamer. Pulls in 10K pretty consistently. Oh, so he must be really good. He's been living in Japan for a few years. His YouTube content is more about wacky things in Japan, but his streaming is more varied, usually game focused. He finished OG FF7 and just recently raised a million dollars in donation for the Immune Deficiency Foundation. That's awesome. Uh, he biked 1,200 kilometers across Japan. Wow, what a Chad. This will be similar to the Asmongold era, but with less WoW people. Connor doesn't really do MMOs or even cutscenes, so this could potentially crash and burn as people hype up his expectations too much. <laughs> Okay, so what does chat think? Connor is notorious for skipping cutscenes, unless he really enjoys it. Playing with his buddies Iron Mouse and Premiere 2 might help with that. I mean, did he say anything about what he, how he plans on approaching the game? He usually skip cutscenes, but he did recently play FF7 and FF8 and enjoyed that story. Okay. He does a cycle thon every year. Yeah, it sounds like he spends a lot of time outside. Maybe FF14 can change that. <laughs> I mean, he has. If he's played the other Final Fantasy games and enjoyed those stories, then I don't understand why he wouldn't enjoy the FF14 story. You know? And besides. Let's be honest, you can actually skip a lot of the cutscenes in FF14 and still, like, not all, but there's a bunch of them that you could skip and still understand what's going on and still enjoy a lot, too. It's not like, you know, an all or nothing type of deal. He could end up buying a skip for... Yeah. In any case... Having a popular streamer play the game is amazing news for everyone. It's awesome. I just, I guess my concern, because first of all, the only thing that I really want for someone who decides to play the game is that they have fun. And fun is going to be subjective for every person. Like some people, and I have talked to these people who have literally skipped through the entire story <clears throat> and they just only raid and they're having an amazing time. There's people like that. And then I know people that skip some of the story and they have fun. Like all that really matters at the end of the day is that you yourself are having fun. And that's what I want for everybody else that wants to try the game. 
And if they're a popular streamer, it's great, because then lots of other people will try the game and they'll play it in their own way. So it's all, it's a net positive, but my only concern <clears throat> is that he might get, is like the reaction that he might get from the community <laughs> for skipping cutscenes. I think the worst thing that you could do is probably skip cutscenes and then um, talk about the story. But he doesn't seem like the per <clears throat> type of person who would do that. Yeah, my concern is the reaction that he might get from the community because we know, I know how people can be. Like, honestly, I have talked to streamers that they got harassed and they got, um, I don't, I don't know how to put this. Aggressive people <laughs> coming at them <clears throat> aggressively. Because even though they're watch even though they were watching the story, they weren't reacting in the way that those people wanted them to. Like I've talked to these people who've had that experience. Like they didn't react enough to a certain part. Or they didn't react hard enough to something, or they just like <laughs> So I feel like <laughs> that's for people who actually watched every cutscene and read everything. So what about people who you know, skip things. I mean, well, we'll see how it goes. But typically, I feel like people with that Major kind of a gigantic play the game faster following um, usually can handle that uh, pretty well. Like it's you know, it's not their their first rodeo. If you have ten thousand people watching you, I'm pretty sure that you know how to handle uh, harassment and abuse and stuff on on the internet, right? Like, that's a, that's a skill you need for your job every day. Yes, we can skip the game so we can play it. Five head. The faster you skip the game, the faster you'll be done. Yep. <laughs> the older I get. The less I don't care what others think about how I play my games or how I learn things. So true, Cora and I, that is so based. <laughs> That's the thing too, like I noticed as you get older, the less of a sh you give about people doing things in a certain way. The only thing you care about is doing things your own way <laughs> and nobody is gonna stop you from doing it how you want to do it. <laughs> Ain't nobody. It's like that's the silver lining of getting older, because when you're when you're a kid, you're thinking, "Oh my God, when I get older, I still want to be cool. Like I still want people to like me, and I still like, I, I don't want to be like, crotchety, and old and stuff. Like I want to be hip, but actually, then you get older and you don't give a f about being hip <laughs> at all. It doesn't matter." A big creator starting FF. Yes, it's good news for all of us. I'm really happy. It's also great timing because it's right before Dawn Trail and it's right before the media tour. So that's pretty good Thank for you, us. Optimus Prime. Like fresh buns coming out the oven soon. We have so many fresh buns. <laughs> Um, the media tour is this month. Yes. Um, and the, whenever a big streamer comes to the game, it's like a rising tide that lifts all boats. You know what I mean? We're going to have so many new people, so many new faces coming in here. And it just makes me really happy because those people enrich our community. Oh, Jesse Cox made a tweet about this. This exact thing that we were just talking about, just now. So your favorite streamer is playing FF14, remember. It doesn't mean they'll like it or play it the way you want. They most likely won't stick with the many hundreds of hours it takes to even get to current content. So enjoy it while they play. And have zero expectations.
you know, that would be a nice message if the people who needed to hear it would actually listen to you and absorb it. Because I feel like the people that are listening and are like, yes, absolutely, true. These are not the people you need to reach. You know, it's people that will just show up and get mad. And there's pretty much nothing we can do about it. But it's good to, it's good to say what you said. If those people could read. <laughs> yes, those people would be very upset if they could read. Uh, watch some of Sea Dog's stuff. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I can learn a little bit about him. Uh, what's a good one? I, you know, I, I okay, take my complaining about Ubisoft. And, uh, Sounds good. Just Dance is actually quite a fun game to play. I, I sound like such a boomer now. Um, so I bought Just Dance because, like, yeah, fuck it, if I ever want to play it, I'll just take it to places. It's kind of it's it's one of those dumb things. It's kind of like WarioWare, but in, if people don't, if people get too tryhardy, Just Dance is like an equalizer of skill. It's quite fun. However, the problem is that it's developed by Ubisoft, and uh. Oh my god. I've never had a game on the Switch crash before. It just crashes. On top of that, I bought the physical version of this game because I don't like buying um I don't like buying digital versions. Yes, sometimes it's a minor inconvenience having to swap out the games and you can lose the game. But I like having the I like having the physical thing. So I, I bought the no, that's physical your real boomer case opinion. of Just Dance. The <laughs> physical version of Just Dance, right? And I open it. It's that's a, code. a real boomer take. It's a code to download it. And I got so pissed off. I was like, what the fuck is this? So I, I Google it, and apparently they don't sell a physical version. That's the future. But they sell a physical box so. with the code inside. Dude, that's everybody now. Why? That's everybody now. For knows. what reason? Like, so not only does, don't is really... Ubisoft just a oh, bad game whoops. developer, they also want to kill turtles. I just... <gasps> what? Ubisoft wants to kill turtles? Huh? No what? resell? Bro, no one is reselling Just Dance. I refuse to believe it, dude. This game, it barely runs. I mean, true. Uh, <laughs> I mean, actually. I mean. That is. Um, Assassin's Creed. I've, there's some things you can't kill. Flamingos, seagulls, crabs. But I can kill a turtle. I shot a turtle. I felt bad when it was useless. I'm a cold-blooded killer. How dare you? Booted up, right? And I'm like, cool, I'll see what songs I got. So I... It's from the plastic. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. We're talking about real life again. Something I don't know a ton about. Okay. All right. Sorry. I, I see it and I'm it like, threw oh. me off because oh, I like the song and they're like oh no no this isn't Just Dance 2023 you have to buy that if you want to yeah. do the Just Dance 2024 I'm like what? Hey, what? it's what? your 26 year old huh? monkey brained boy Welsh and okay so you're telling me he has a YouTube channel what's the YouTube channel called let's find it Sea Dog VA oh he's a he's a VA What's he got? Most recent video. Guess the anime husband -o. Oh my god. We are going to be best friends. That's my favorite topic. But I don't know a lot of anime husband because I only recently got into anime, believe it or not. Um, It's 20 minutes long, too. Is there something really short? I tried Lolita fashion. Oh, that's cute. I bet that would look really good. I tried working at Japan's cat bar. <laughs> Temple dick. I tried Japan's weirded play, weirdest place. Okay. Japan is known across the world for being, let's say, a little weird. And I wanted to put that to the test. So I tasked Kyle to again. find as many weird things to do in Japan in 24 hours. And trust me when I say this, I think Kaho has found the most weird thing I've ever seen in Japan. 
And so we started our adventure in one of Japan's snake centers. I'll skip some parts, which doesn't yeah. so much look like a center and more a bunch of I don't of need to watch this whole thing. Really I just aging. want to see what he's well, like. Uh, this is Japan's snake center, and this is not what I expected. This is, <laughs> looks like a kind oh, she's of so random cute. assortment of buildings. I didn't see any snakes. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking oh in my, my gosh, head, so what cute. was I expecting? Like snakes just <laughs> running around everywhere? Yeah. Like, I guess this makes sense, but oh, that is, well, that is a rooster. What the? Oh, that's, a, that's our dinner sorted. Well, I guess the snake center has a lot of roosters. I guess we just walk around. Yeah. I don't really know. There, there is a map. I got a map. He has a very yeah. calming voice. They also voice. told us that we can't use the toilet today uh, because the water's frozen. Oh so it God. doesn't flush. Yeah. And right away, Kao to His voice is so relaxing. Something kind of weird. You can eat snake here. <laughs> what? You can eat snake? That's like going to a zoo and being like, by the way, all these animals, all edible, all on the table. You want to check the museum first? <laughs> sure, let's go look at the museum. I can't Inside. say People out down here are eating frog legs, and, and I've had I had frog legs one time. Buildings appear to be a rather hell. I ate squirrel down old here. Museum. Wow. Oh, okay, that's of, oh, pretty wow. intense. Oh, they have so many bones. Oh, this is an anaconda. Oh. It's the one that the uh, Nicki Minaj always talks about. Is this about, the right? weirdest place? The one. Yeah. Is that... yeah, yeah it's so just a snake. The snake. <laughs> okay, that's actually massive. I didn't realize the anaconda is that big. If I saw that, I would think there was like a fallen tree. Dude, th doesn't the skin look like fake? It doesn't look real. It looks like a net. It looks My artificial. My anaconda <laughs> don't want none unless you got this, buzz, This is huh? just a giant jar. Is this how they- Wow, that's like core memory activated. <laughs> because of the word anaconda, oh my god. Keep like the, the body like alive? Marinate it here like forever. <laughs> so this one's in soy sauce. That's <laughs> creepy. <laughs> and after seeing snakes of every like single kind, including this, it was time to go to the snake holding experience. Oh, oh, he's... Oh, oh my god, it's like <laughs> new Apple Watch. <laughs> he's trying to wrap himself around. And of snake. course I wanted to share the joy with Kaho. However, <laughs> I don't think Kaho really wanted to. Hand back so cute. <laughs> The next one wasn't a snake, it seemed to be a blizzard. Oh, oh. It weighs like nothing. I bet he's really gonna like the viper class. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. He's such a cute boy. Oh. Isn't it cute? Yes, it is. <laughs> I got all the maternal fairings coming out. <laughs> and it wasn't long until he brought out the big boy. Oh, oh. oh wow. Oh. Okay, this Big boy. Dumb, it looks like he has like Louis Vuitton skin. But of course I felt like Kaho was missing out and I offered to give her the snake. No, I'm good. I think, I think <laughs> you should give it a shot, Kaho. Can you just wrap it around my... Don't do it. Okay, ready? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Don't react. Okay. I'm not gonna... Oh, it's heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy. It's weird. I'm going, You know, snakes are actually very soft. <laughs> Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Cool. Nice. We are so nakayoshi together. Best of friend of. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> They're cuddly. A snake to try to They're get sweet. Cleavage, but no, no, no. <laughs> Wait, you wanted him to go into <laughs> cleavage? What kind of JV is this? It's like really good for Oh, yeah. He's a monk. That's but now I'm just so regretting my outfit. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's kind of nice. Oh. oh, well, that was fun. Uh, I think I like snakes a lot. <laughs> I think I really like them. I think I want to get a snake now. I don't know why, <laughs> but that was fun, yeah. Did you like the snake? Eventually I did, I took some time. Okay, good, good. Right, well, let's go to the next thing then. Okay. okay. And the next weird thing that Carl <clears throat> to show me was a restaurant that wasn't staffed and was entirely vending machines. From the drink, to the snacks, to the appetizers, to the main course. We're just on the side of a road in the middle of Gunma, <laughs> and inside is a bunch of hopefully delicious ramen. Um, so I guess without further ado, let's go inside. Oh man, I'd love some ramen. That's right, they have ramen vending machines, a burger vending machine, and just regular old vending machines. Oh wow, oh, I'm look so at hungry. this. I want udon or ramen or uh... Is there no staff here at all? This is just completely unstaffed and there's just mm. vending machine with food and seasoning. What are we getting? You can get hamburger too. Oh. Wow. Fresh made hamburger. I'm not gonna lie, that hamburger does not look the most appetizing. <laughs> I'm sure the ramen... So, I wanted to see what was the place on the... I'm gonna the skip floor. around a little bit. I'm gonna get a Big Mac. <laughs> all right. It's time to enjoy a real meal. Oh, that's so fresh. Didn't you eat the ramen? <laughs> Wait, 
way, what just happened? Oh, it's so warm. I open it up. I want to see. Did you not want to? Very soggy. It's built more like a meat bam, like a nickel mom. Oh. Look, all that looks <laughs> gross. Like, that looks nasty. I don't want McDonald's I either. It's called the House of Dicks, and I actually cannot show you about 99% of, of what is in this museum. However, as you will see in a moment, there's a very bizarre lady who will begin talking to us and, um. Oh my god. Just, just see. Can I take it outside? Uh, go on. Can I? Will I get banned? She immediately opens the gate with a simple question. Where could this possibly lead to? What? Oh my god, this lady is amazing. Thank you. I hope so. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was obviously extremely embarrassed. And don't you worry, it gets even weirder from here. Bro, what did you expect? You showed up to the house of dicks and she she has greeted you as politely as you could possibly imagine when you show up to a place called the house of dicks. So based. Oh my god. <laughs> Execution, lesson, investigation. I've scored 100 points in all of them. <laughs> I'm an expert in all the dicks. This lady's my hero. Oh my god. <laughs> and if all of that wasn't weird enough, oh boy, does it get weirder? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Look, we can't. This is getting too lewd for Twitch. Okay, I don't want to get banned. Yeah, she just walks up to you and strokes you there. That's no way. Part of the no way. I didn't know that. No. <laughs> no. Stop see it. the uncensored version with no blurring, and that's, you want to go and see everything that's, this place has to. Okay, that's crossing the line, man. Offer in all of its glory, you can do so by going to my Patreon down below. Man, is she? If, if somebody walked up to me and started doing that, I, you're gonna catch hands. Seriously, like. Well, I will be uploading an uncensored version of this video with this entire segment shown. And trust me, I will fight oh, it's you. Weird. It's so weird, as you can that see. That would cross the line. Some of our reactions. What is this museum? What the? That's like a. Pokemon, dude, this amazing. is the weirdest wow, place. Wow, that looks like a vagina. Wow, okay. Yeah. This is the weirdest Jesus. place. You think it's all blurred. Right this is terrifying. Is that a I'm scared. Damn, I'm wow. glad it's blurred. Overload. This well, is too much. Also, one weird thing. Why does the cat have a giant dick? Well, that was such a bizarre adventure. Wow, that thank you for blurring it. Weirdest things I've ever experienced <laughs> ever in my life. Well, yeah. at least we can go do some other stuff yeah. now. So let's, let's get out of here. I need. Well, now you're ready to go to Limbs Olympics. <laughs> You're all set. You're ready to download some mods and show up in Limsa. To go. <laughs> My dick doesn't work anymore. Why? I'm dry. So, uh, that was intense. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen in my lifetime. But I did also make a tweet about it. Just a bit of a joke because I was kind of taken aback by it. And it's you. This tweet. <laughs> Please. That was intense. I didn't expect that to happen in my lifetime. No, no, but no. I did also make a tweet. This 80-year-old Japanese lady just grabbed my crotch and said my dick is weak. <laughs> about it. Just a bit of a joke because I was kind of oh taken my god. by it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm experiencing, like, a hardcore second-hand embarrassment right a now. on Twitter. I'm so sorry. You must have been so uncomfortable. Oh my god. Great, these are pretty cool. Okay, sorry. people are reacting normally. <laughs> hey, Audrey. Hey, I, I love, I follow Audrey. Audrey tweets about FF all the time. Amazing. Right, Banger yeah, tweets about FF. I mean, it is weird, but we did know there was a chance that a lady would hat our crotches. It, it is kind of advertised. Yeah, oh, it is advertised. So, but... I got the information and kind of scared that. It's oh, okay. a little overwhelming to kind okay. of have it happen. Okay, so they do let you know ahead of time that that can happen. So that, that kind of makes it a little better. But still, I would make it clear, like, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. from this very sweet looking old yeah. lady uh, who just goes up to you and tells you your dick doesn't work. Yes. <laughs> Dude, this is just like the least interesting part of her day you realize that she's doing this and she's thinking about you know what time she's gonna go uh 
Oh my god, I need to I need to phrase this carefully. I was gonna say what time she's gonna get off work. <laughs> get off to go home, I meant, but you know what? Let's just anyway, not talk about uh, this anymore. To our next thing, I have a great place for us for lunch. You're gonna like it. Let's get back. I'm hungry. After that, we headed off next. to the mountains of Gunma to go and see an initial D cafe, which was a much needed change of pace from the previous location. Okay. So yeah. this is an initial D cafe? So yeah, I don't need to watch this whole thing. I just wanted a quick look at, you know, this is... <laughs> I just want to quickly, you know, what is he like? What is his videos like? You know, all that. Where is this place? Just asking for a friend. I cannot tell. 10 out of 10. That, that was some of the happen. freshest tempura and fish I've ever had in my life. That was so I'm sure nice. there's not a ton right, of well, those That was places. amazing. Yes. That was a good meal. That's and I am cold and I also <laughs> need <laughs> coffee. So, okay. I heard there's a cafe nearby that also does some interesting kind of dishes. Yes. So, let's go check it out. Yes. <sighs> However, I will warn you, if you do want to go to some of these ryokans, the roads look like this, and they're not safe. And finally, before we wrap up this video, we went to Restaurant Pumpkin. Now, you're probably wondering, what is this place famous for? Whoa. <laughs> Yes, that is an entire loaf of bread with cheese on top. What? Now, I, I must warn you, if you are Italian, what you're going to see next is horrifying. How do they even do this? What? Oh my oh god! My no way! Yes, that is indeed pasta inside a loaf of bread. I can feel the Italians screaming and kicking right now. Whoa, that's the small. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the f is that? Curry Pasta no, bread? no, no. Oh, God. Cameraman, you have to join and help us out here. Yes. Uh, I mean, you ordered this one. <laughs> this is why God doesn't talk to us anymore. This is your one. Yeah. And this is my sort of half and third of it one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's pasta. I'm gonna try this bread. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's bread. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, no. wow, wow, wow. Oh my stop, god, that's stop, on the inside, yeah, stop, that's insanity. Stop. Well, I can't, and so I can't look anymore. And best attempt to try and destroy this thing. However, oh my god, was it tough, but we- This video is not safe for life. Like, it started in SFW, and now it's in SF... Well, or at least in S. F I not say for Italian. <laughs> Gave it a good shot. So we've done our best to try and yeah. uh, make a dent in these two loaves, but it's a formidable foe. Not for the faint of heart. So I think. formidable. I am um, disgustingly full. Uh, in no. fact, I think I um, consumed a year's worth of pasta <laughs> and bread in one meal. It was actually not bad. Like it tasted pretty good. Yeah. And for a thousand yen, <laughs> how, are they, how are they making what? money on this? Yeah. How is anybody making money off this? Seven fifty. Yeah. I gotta say, if you want to try a crazy food challenge, you gotta come here and try. Seven fifty. This, this is something else. This is Another one of the level. weirdest things I've ever tried in Japan. Straight up. Wow. Thank you for joining again. Me up in wow. Two hours. Well. Man, I can't even buy that much pasta, not even cooked for seven fifty. You have to drive. You like the to... pasta and sauce itself, like it's gonna be like ten fucking dollars these it's days. Fine, later, later. And with that ends the craziest day I've ever had in Japan. From bizarre foods to snakes to peepees, we've seen it all in I've 24 hours. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to subscribe and help support the channel. And <laughs> let me know down below what other weird Well, uh that was fun. That was fun. Uh, he does seem ready for FF recording. <laughs> Love the old lady talking about dicks. She legit made me burst out laughing. Yeah, but it was, it was weird. It it did get weird. I think the physical contact does not need to be part of that experience at all. Uh, but that's my opinion. And apparently, they do warn you beforehand. <laughs> Connor, I grew up in a very Italian household. I can tell you we're only screaming because we didn't come up with pasta bread first. We dip our bread in the sauce. This is just a galaxy brain next step in the process. Uh, never mind. I just saw the curry pasta bread. <laughs> There's no two reasons to scream. <laughs> oh, God. God. Okay, well, that was weird. Anyway, uh, now we know all about Connor. Um... I wonder how he's going to feel when he's, <laughs> if he finds out, okay, yeah. If I, if I ever get a chance to talk to him, I'm like, oh yeah, you're the guy from that Dick's video. <laughs> oh yeah.
<laughs> yeah, I remember you. You're the one who had that 80 year old Japanese lady grab your dick. Yeah, in a video. Yeah, I watched it. <laughs> that would be so bad. He'll be like, which one? 